hey, in this video, we're going to talk about this product called Spoke, which is a way to set up an internal help desk that can really save you a lot of time and money from the way you might be doing it today. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. And today I'm going to set up and give this product called Spoke a try, askspoke.com. And it caught my eye because it has a pretty cool Slack integration. And you know, I like integrating all sorts of stuff with Slack. But what they're doing here is a nice way that combines your internal your, your, your internal help systems, your help desk that you have for your company with a knowledge base with looks like some automation uh, within Slack uh, to get questions answered. So if you think about all sorts of help desk software, I mean, there's tons of external facing stuff from Zendesk and Help Scout and Front and Kayako and all things that we've talked about on our YouTube channel. Uh, and many times you can use all of these for your internal team support but it's not ideal. Um, it's great for external, but, you know, internal, especially when you're small, you need an easy way for people to get answers. Uh, and we've we've looked at wiki systems and all sorts of systems. And, and I like the approach of Spoke because they're going to let you make these things called teams. Like you can see on this website here, their website, IT team, HR team, office management team, a, a, a party planning committee. They'll, they'll tell you how many open requests and things like that you've got. But what they're going to allow you to do is give a natural way for your employees to email or to use Slack and, and pose a question. And then they've got this friendly bot who's going to go out there and look at your knowledge base for all the answers that might exist already and say, hey, is this answer your question? And if it doesn't, then they could go ahead and open up a ticket and route it to somebody in the organization who can answer that question. So if you think about it, this is sort of like if you took Drift which has a great uh, sales-oriented bot for integrating with uh, sales-oriented uh, help desk systems and answers, and you combine it with um, you know any kind of traditional help desk tool that integrates with Slack, then you've got Spoke. That's the way I see it. So I will say they don't, they don't necessarily have their price out there yet, so I don't want to give too much details on that in the video because that changes for early stage content uh, for teams. But right now it looks like there's about a 50 buck minimum and that gets you anywhere from 50 to 15 uh, employees based on, you know, which uh, one of their plans you want. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got early access here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my company information and set up an account and see what their onboarding experience is going to be. I could use my Google, but you know, I don't like to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my company email and information and give it a password and let's go ahead and go into their onboarding let's see how this works so i took a look at a couple of their support documents it looks pretty simple to that and this is a giving you a little onboarding example here how can i use the office printer? so you typically you, you'll put all sorts of internal information in your in your uh, system about, you know, what are your office hours? What's the Wi-Fi code? What's the benefits policy? Things like that. HR oriented things, IT oriented things. Let's go ahead and hit next on this. It's built for teams. Okay. Uh, makes workplace requests simple. So that's a good way to put it. Workplace requests. These are not customer requests. These are your internal team. And if you do this kind of stuff when you're getting started, then it's going to really save you from having to do it as you get bigger. And then you have to buy more expensive systems. This really helps you a lot. So it says here, create your first team. And it gives you some templates, which are nice to give you a head start. So I really like this onboarding because it's really showing me uh, right away some of the things that I can do with it. You'll see here, this looks very much like a help desk system where you've got an inbox sent you're watching some tickets you've got some unassigned requests coming in uh, you've got some knowledge bases that you can set up here it looks like i've got my slack you've got that email that i talked about that you can probably put your own company email and have an auto forward go to their email so you could tell your internal employees a, a really easy email address to remember let's go ahead and click on a just a general admin type of setup here and I'll keep that the same. Looks like you can pick color coding for your team. That's nice. Uh, looks like some hat. This is a description, some keywords. So I think these keywords are really important for that bot 
who's going to go out there and search in this particular team knowledge base for answers. So I'm going to go ahead and add a team, a team where for uh, benefits and vacation, just to have a couple extra keywords in there. Team settings, it looks like you can uh, determine who gets invited in this team. The auto assignment settings are on. Request privacy. So there's all sorts of features that I won't go into here. Let's go ahead and create that team. So now I've got a team. Now, from what I understand, if I want to create a knowledge article on this, I can actually simulate making a request myself. So I'm going to say, what are our company holidays, as an example? I'll hit enter and you'll see that that's going to actually bring up that bot. Now, because I'm the admin here, from what I understand, I'm going to be able to create a knowledge article to answer my own question. So I'm going to go ahead and go through their wizard here. I'm going to say file this article under that one team that I just created. Uh, I could assign it to a specific person. I haven't even invited uh, people yet. I'm going to write my reply and I'm just going to, I don't have a copy and paste I can put here. I'm going to say we get New Year's, 4th of July, and Christmas. That's it. Work all other days. <laughs> and that's not true, but I'm just being funny. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter on that. And now I can self-resolve this, which will create that add that that knowledge base article for me my marking is resolved i think it might prompt me to say there we go all right so i just created a knowledge article I, I, I suspect if i look in my kb here you'll see that it actually gives me some resources that i can make here it looks like it wants to verify my email i can't invite other users until i do that i'll do that in a setting in a second but that's kind of the concept so i can go to teams i can add new teams just like that I can go into knowledge base. I can add looks like resources. And what I notice is you can bring in, you don't have to put all your data in their tool. You can link to Google Drive or link to some other existing places that you have as you create those knowledge articles. Let's take a look under the settings cover. I can change, I, this is where I can invite my uh, users. I'm gonna turn this Slack integration on and give that a test. Set up my billing. All right, so let's go ahead and integrate with Slack. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Slack integration on. Let's see if that will do it. Oh, I gotta verify my email. I'm gonna pause one second, go out there and do that so I can do some more fun stuff in this tool, hold on. Okay, so I've gone out and confirmed my email settings. And now it says we can add to Slack. So I've already got my Slack kind of logged in in this other browser tab. That always makes these things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button. And sure enough, you'll see that it picked up my previous authentication. So I'm gonna go ahead and authorize this app. And for what I understand, it's going to allow me to, so you'll see here, I can do a direct message now to at spoke on Slack for any user that I've added. And I can also do an uh, at mention in a channel. So now I'm gonna, let's save this just to make sure that's saved. And let's click and see what's going on under here. This is if you want to upgrade. Okay, I got a trial period, nice 30 day trial period that you don't have to put a credit card in to start with. So now let's let's do a quick little test. I'm not 100% sure my knowledge article is there. Let's, uh, let's just uh, make a new request here and see uh, company holidays, what? are my company holidays and let's see if it'll yeah i couldn't find any on that so let's actually go through that again well i tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna go through it this way i'm gonna make a new article text-based knowledge article company holidays here uh we get new year's and christmas off i'm gonna cut it even shorter this time i'm only gonna give two holidays for the whole year you're gonna get New Year's and Christmas, and guess what, I'm gonna give you Easter too. All right, we're gonna file under general admin and add this as a knowledge article. All right, great. So now I do have a knowledge article here. It looks like I can edit it, I can flag it for review. I think it automatically will do some of those things. Now I'm gonna pop into Slack, and let's go ahead and pop into my Slack over here. You know, see now I've got this app called Spoke over here that I can do a direct message to. 
Uh, let's try it. What are our company holidays? It says focus typing. I found something that might help. There it is. Does that help? I'm going to say no. I'm going to be funny here. I say no. See how good this bot is. Okay. Okay. Someone will follow up soon. You can follow any updates to your request here. All right. Now, now, and look at this. I've got some sent stuff here. I've got some unassigned stuff here. Let's pop back over here and take a look at what happened. So unassigned. There it is. I've got uh, a couple requests here where I can see the transcript of what happened in Slack. I'll probably be able to assign that my, to myself. So now I've got that in my inbox. Let's click on that again. And I'm going to just write, you don't get any holidays, get to work. Talk to myself so I could do that. All right. And let's run that. And I think that probably will send me an email and send me some other stuff. Let's go ahead and mark this as resolved now. And I probably got an email to that in my email box with that answer. So as I said, you know, Definitely some more stuff to do here. Build your knowledge base article out. Invite your team. Upgrade from the trial. But I really like this kind of bot approach to help. It keeps your team in Slack, which is what I like. That's where all of our hub of communication is. Gives them an easy way to ask questions. And if the answer is not already documented in the knowledge base, you get a, a team that can monitor these cues and answer those questions and then quickly convert those answers into other knowledge base articles. So this is the kind of technology that I, that I like to use in my company to keep things small, efficient and organized. And this separates it from your traditional external facing customer support and it gives you a lot more capability so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like these kind of videos subscribe to our youtube channel also go out and check out our facebook page go out to techsmartboss.com and you'll find our links and everything else that we're doing and stay tuned we'll put out another video very soon